guys. Hey, uh, I got a couple questions uh, here lately about chatterbait fishing, so I wanted to take the time before it got too cold to to teach you about uh, chatterbaits, because uh, I had two two questions, two different people asked me my favorite retrieve for a chatterbait, uh, so I'm going to go through that real quick, um, and then show you guys how I fish my chatterbait. So, first of all, a chatterbait's going to be best when it, it won't come through wood very good. So a chatterbait's going to be dominant in grass. Anytime you're around grass, it's going to be dominant. So I wanted to find a little bit of grass that was still left and show you exactly how I do it. First of all, I throw it on a pretty big rod and reel. This is a 7-4 medium heavy, uh, fast gear ratio. It's a 7 to 6 to 1. Um, and I throw it on braid. Now, if, if I'm around grass, I'm always going to throw it on braid. If I'm not, uh, and I'm, I'm throwing it more in open water or around, you know, just rocks or something like that, then I'm going to switch to fluoro. Um, I would probably prefer 17 pound fluoro, but you can throw it on either one. It, it doesn't really matter. Either one will do the trick. It's a 40 pound braid. So what I normally do, you, now you, this is a bait that you can just cast out. I'm trying to keep the boat straight so you guys can see. And you can just, you know, s slow, steady retrieve. You could, you could do that but I feel like you're not gonna get that reaction bite to those fish that aren't feeding. Now, if you got feeding fish, you could probably just reel it slow and, and it, it'll be fine. But what I like to do is I'll cast it out, right? It, it just hit the water. Now I'm gonna let it fall down to the bottom. I'm only sitting in eight foot, so it's not gonna take very long, right? So then once you know it's on the bottom, then I'm gonna start to retrieve. It's in some grass. I'm gonna pull it, rip it through. The best way I feel to do it when you, when you get hung in the grass, it's just a rip the rod tip real twit, quick like that, and then let it fall, and then start reeling again. Most of your fall, most of your bites are going to be after the after it hits the grass and it it falls. So what you want it to do is get hung in the grass, rip it free, um, and that big rod and that big line is going to help you to do that. Because I, I know a lot of you guys are like, well, how do you rip it through the grass? It gets hung up. If the grass is too thick, it's not going to come through. But if you have sporadic grass or thick clumps of milfoil, milfoil or hydrilla, it'll come through fine. So let's do it again. You cast out. All right, I'm going to let it hit the bottom, right? Once it's on the bottom, then I'm going to start my retrieve, slow and steady. And then you'll be able to tell when it gets hung on grass. So when it gets hung on grass, then you're just going to give a quick snap of the rod tip. And then you can quick snap it and let it fall you'll almost feel it most of the time. If you don't feel it, you'll at least know because you're gonna start pulling into something heavy. So either way, you wanna try and set the hook. Um, pretty, pretty relatively simple. Let it fall to the bottom. This is my favorite retrieve for it because I feel like you're getting fish that aren't normally feeding and they're reacting to it because it, once it gets caught in that grass, it looks like it's injured and then you rip it free and they just can't help it but bite. So you, you know, I mean, you could probably still do it right now. The water temperature is 48 degrees. You could probably still do it uh, in the north, but there's better ways to catch them right now than this. But it's it's a good tip because you're going to use this again in the in the fall uh, or in the spring. I'm sorry, the early spring, and then again, you know, post spawn. And you could really throw it all summer long if you can get it through the grass that you're fishing. Um, but you know, once the grass gets too thick, then there's going to be more efficient ways to. To fish it but that's one way to fish it another way so if I feel like I'm fishing deeper grass or if I'm I'm fishing uh, you know if I have it tied on and I'm I'm fishing grass and I see a, a lay down or something like that it, it won't come through wood all that great but it will every now and again if you if you do it right um, but say I have some deeper grass that I just want to kind of feather it through this is another uh, technique that works a lot of the time so if you throw it out let it hit the bottom once it's on the bottom, then you're just going to yo-yo it. Lift your rod tip up and make sure the bait's falling on slack line. So it's, it's a lot like a jig. Um, you're going to feel that vibration, and then you're going to let it fall to the bottom on slack line. I kind of use my rod so I don't have to pick up the slack. Lift up and then just lower your rod tip, and the bait's going to fall on its own. Um, again, the same thing. You're hardly ever going to get the bite on the pull up. It's always going to be on slack line. So be prepared which is why the high speed reel is, is important is when that bait starts to fall again, if they eat it on the fall, then you got a quick reel to pick up that line. Um, so that's another, another important way that you can fish it. So just in recap, let's go over it real quick. 
your grass is going to be the best place to fish it, shallow grass. If you have deeper grass that you're fishing, the best way is probably going to be to yo-yo it. Um, and then the third way to do it is you can use a steady retrieve. Now, with the chatterbait, I have a guy that makes mine for me, Johnny Jigs. He, he actually just joined Instagram. He's uh, at Johnny Jigs dot com or john jigs uh I, i'll i'll figure out what it is and i'll put it in the comments below but he makes the best chatterbait i've ever used simply for the fact that most chatterbaits that you get out of the box are going to run true they're going to run straight back at you right this chatterbait will it goes side to side so it's always kind of hunting almost like a crankbait so it's it's efficient because if you got fish that aren't feeding again this this bait reeled straight looks like it's injured so you could get bites doing that um but again your your hookup ratio and your bite ratio is going to be much better if you're ripping it through the grass so i'll show you guys all three ways once again one last time and then uh and hopefully that answers your questions that the question one question i got was my favorite retrieve the other one i can't remember what it was but there were two questions on chatterbait so i figured i would do this one first so again if you're going to cast out and do a steady retrieve i would still let it hit the bottom after it's reeled out and then just slow your retrieve now it's naturally going to get hung in grass so if you're doing that you're gonna you're gonna rip it free but you can just keep reeling and pull it free but see i'm i'm coming straight now it's hung up in grass so you just still give it a quick snap the second way is to make it look as erratic as you possibly can. So basically, for this, this one, which is my favorite one, you're gonna cast out, and then you're gonna be snapping that rod tip, kind of like a jerk bait, but not with a jerk bait. So you're, you know, and then when it gets hung, you're still pulling it through, but every now and again, just give it a quick snap of the rod tip, and it'll, it'll make that, the, the bait dart to one side or the other. And like I said, this one does it naturally, so I don't really have to do that, but if you have a true running, uh, chatterbait then that's going to be your your best bet doing it that way so you're just snapping the rod tip right just like that keep it snapping you can stop and start it every now and again that's another good way and then the final way if you're fishing out deeper you know say 8 to 12 foot something like that which which it can be efficient in that depth too you're going to let it hit the bottom and then you're going to yo-yo it just like you would yo-yo in a jig or a silver bait our silver buddy is a perfect example of blade bait um, so you're gonna let it hit the bottom rip it up let it fall down you're gonna feel that vibration and then it's gonna fall vibration and then let it fall so hopefully that answered your question I'll, I'll put up a couple more that of the questions that I got one of the better ones uh, the, all of them are good questions but one of the other ones which is a tough one to answer is how do I go about my pattern for a day um, or, or what I do to figure out the pattern for a day. That's gonna be coming up soon. I'm gonna try and put that one out. Um, but hopefully this is what you guys wanted. Again, keep the questions coming and I'll do my best to answer them. See you guys.